Bob, you're muted. You're muted, Bob. Hey, obviously, a, a, not a good start for you guys. Uh, what turned it around? What, what allowed you guys to keep the faith uh, when you, you know, this was the third straight game with a bad start, and the other results hadn't been good tonight? You had a huge comeback. I mean, man, when you go through a stretch like we've had, you know, you start to you really, like, take a look at yourselves in the mirror, man, and just try to do what we can to come together. So once we got down in the first half, man, we just really wanted to take a stand at that point. Like we knew where we struggled at and we knew that, you know, starting games was a point for us that we needed to get better at. So in just handling adversity really as a whole new group with this new group, at least, you know, with some guys trying to still find out their roles and not really getting consistent minutes, you know, just try to keep everybody in the wow. same place, the same headspace. So. That was definitely something we did. We all came together at the end of the, or just in the first half and tried to say like, you know, let's go out here and just really just leave it all on the court, man. And we did a great job of doing that. Well, what'd you think of Desi's game? And he, he's had 45 in two games against Auburn. Hey, Desi the Auburn killer, man. The War Eagle Slayer. But uh, nah, Desi, man, he puts in tremendous work every single day, man. One of the guys I've grown close to in my time here, man, has a huge heart and just plays as hard as he can, man, night in and night out, man. And we need him out there, man. I, we tell him that all the time, man. It's just great to see a guy like that, you know, the work paying off for him and just and coming around, man. Hey, thanks, Jayla. Mm -hmm. Dudley? You talk about the play of the, the three freshmen there tonight, uh, especially Devo and Jalen and what they brought to the floor. Uh, well, we know Moses, you know, is elite scorer, man. But Devo and uh, Jalen, they just bring a different type of, you know, like what they bring to the game is just different from a freshman standpoint just because they know how to play so well. You know, so far they know how to play the game. And they have high IQ, man, and they listen. So just you kind of know what you're going to get out of them, man. Those guys play extremely hard, and they just lay their bodies down, man, for the team every single day, man. And you can't ask enough of that, especially out of your freshman, man, because – a lot of guys around the country struggle to do that, especially as freshmen. So it's great to have guys like that, high character guys. Scotty. Yeah, Jalen, I was um, just wanted to ask about Jalen Williams. You know, he finally to pull the trigger on a on a perimeter jumper and then knocked it down. What can that do for his confidence? And then what did you think of the, the one-handed dunk that he had to finally give you guys the lead? Uh, you know, Jalen, man, he's literally, you know, my second favorite guy on the team besides, you know, obviously because his name is Jalen. But, you know, just he's he's that he comes in every day and works just like Desi does, man. And his confidence, I don't think is lacking ever, really. Like when it comes down to it, he just wants to do his best for the team. So seeing him actually being able to take that open shot and make that open shot, I think is going to make teams guarding different, which is going to do even more for his confidence because he's going to continue to make plays. And that one hand dunk was literally one of the most hype moments I've ever seen in person, man, especially for coming from a freshman and just like the timing of it was perfect. You know, it just did great things for our momentum, you know, during the game at that point, at least. Definitely it was a huge pickup for all of us. Curtis. Hey, Jalen, you spent a good amount of time guarding Cooper tonight. You guys held him to a season low in assists. What what kind of challenge is it to guard a guy like that? And then you started throwing the doubles and traps at him, and you, you think that had a good impact on it? Uh, man, just making him see bodies, really. You know, a guy like that, he's a tremendous player, you know, probably going to be a pro here soon, man. And just he does a great job of getting his teammates involved usually, but we had a great game plan to get back in defense. He gets a lot of his assists on kicker hits and just – be able to, you know, make him see length and make him see bodies, man. And just having our hands up, hands out, you know, having our windmills ready, man, and just trying to be able to disrupt them in any way we can. All right, Dale, appreciate your time. I'll bring up the